Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Gran Turismo 2. And if you were watching last time, we finally got that pesky-ass endurance race out of the way. We picked up this little piece of excellence. Look how sick that thing is. 686 horsepower. Just pure horse sex. And by that I mean power, not sex. Horses having sex is weird. So we're not, we're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna get out of, out of thing, out of uh, context here. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to figure out what we're going to do. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're gonna go down to South City for for the first time in this game, and we're going to do. Actually, I should probably explain what we're gonna do here. That would be a better idea. Let's go to the Go Race. What we're going to do is we are going to take on this Muscle Car Cup. However, there is something that we're going to have to do first. Obviously, that International A license is going to be kind of an important thing there. So, but before we go and try to pick up that license, let's at least get the car hit the wrong button. God damn it. Let's head down to South City because all of the muscle cars are going to be in here. And I'm particularly, I'm a, I'm a Ford truck man. No, I'm not. That's all I drive. No, it's not. What the fuck is this? What is a Ford car? I've, what is this? I have never seen one of these before. <laughs> That's like a little, it's like an electric car. It's like somebody wound that shit up before they took it out of the garage. That thing is so slow. That's gotta be for like a model specific race. There's no way. Okay, that's what I thought. A car? A Ford car? Anybody that's ever driven one of those, please tell me about it because I'm, I'm intrigued. Okay, let's get this Mercury Cougar. Oh yeah, my friend's dad has one of these, and they're so rad. I'm gonna see if I can get... Oh, they got the same color too! This would actually be the same exact model if, if it had racing stripes in the middle, which I can't, I can't do anything about that, but this is awesome, okay. So, we're gonna buy it, because they're cheap, I don't... You know, 1967 Mercury Xavier Cougat would definitely be pretty inexpensive. So, we're going to deal with that in a couple of minutes. It's a good thing we have plenty of money left over. We don't have to worry about that for a little bit. Okay, let's head on down to the International A. Let's finish off this thing in style. These are definitely a much harder set of, te of license testing than what we've been dealing with in the past. And you're going to freeze on me, aren't you? Well, how rude of you! Well, hold on just a second, guys, and I'll be right back, because this thing is apparently being a dick-ass, so hold on. All right, we're back. I don't know what the hell that was all about. My emulator just decided to be a bitch, and it was going to play it that way. So, luckily, I have full control. All right, guys, so here we go. We are an international A1, and apparently I have successfully installed Java. <laughs> I don't know whether you guys saw that or not, but it's it was right there. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. We're starting this off in a, in a Dodge Viper. Oh, my God. I love this car. We've already gone over this before, so I don't really need to talk about it again but I really do like these cars a lot. There would be very large amounts of seminal fluid in my shorts. Even though I'm not wearing shorts, I'm actually wearing jeans, but you get the idea. If this was blue and white, instead of white and blue, oh my god, there would be there would be a massive joygasm to be had right there. And we're getting some weird lag action again here. I really wish it wouldn't do that. But I don't have control over that. I'm just doing what a man can do. Ah, not my best. Wow, we even got some weird like pitch change there. That was weird. We get we gonna we gonna stop doing that. We gonna we gonna work normally now. Okay. Oh no, not this one. I hate this one. Oh god, this is this is my least favorite license test out of all of the ones in in almost the entire game. There's uh, it's it's not really that hard. It's just that I fucking hate it. Ugh. Mainly because I don't like TVR Griffiths. They're kind of weird looking. Dude, did you see that guy's balls? Yeah, they were weird looking. Oh my god, is, am I actually going to pull this off for the first time ever? Come on! Hurry up and get there! Jesus! Actually, I, need to, I didn't need to be as dramatic as I was for that. I can't believe I pulled that off on the first try. That like never happens. Ever. And now we have to deal with another NSX race, huh? I don't, I'm not really a big fan of these either. Just because of how big and bulky these things are, you know what I'm saying? They're just all beefy and shit. Oh, I gotta tell you guys a story. Um, what, which story was I gonna tell you guys about? So, oh, okay, I remember. So, last night, it's like 
probably 1 or 1.30 in the morning, and I'm sitting here, uh, I'm sitting here eating dinner because, you know, I eat dinner at 1.30 in the morning all the time. It was actually a leftover Super Bowl chili that my dad makes, because my dad makes, I swear to, to the almighty deity that my dad makes the best Super Bowl chili. Shit! <sighs> well, there we go. My dad makes the best Super Bowl chili shit. That's pretty much what that is. Um, yeah, so I'm sitting up here watching Ghost Adventures, and I don't even remember which episode it was, but I've been watching it for like an hour already, so I was getting pretty into it. It was actually, it was a damn good episode. I'm just going to throw that out there. Ah! Even though pretty much all of them are, but this one was significantly better than some of the other ones that I've watched. Here we go. Okay, let me get done with this test first. This one's, this one's kind of a pain in my... A pain in my ball sack, so I'm just trying to get it done. Come on, baby, come on. Much, much better. That's that's what Marvin wants right there. Oh, I almost got the silver. So I'm watching it, and um, and meanwhile, I haven't talked to my dad pretty much all day. Like the only time that I saw him was when he got home from work at about probably about 11 o'clock. So I'm up here, and uh, he's he was downstairs and he was working on his laptop, and then uh, apparently. Jeez, apparently the battery died. That's that's what I what I understand. The battery died on the laptop, and so he couldn't find out where the charger was, so he decided to come up and ask me. But because I was so engulfed in what was going on, I couldn't I didn't hear him come upstairs at all. Ooh, come on, baby. Wow, we totally obliterated that record. Had I not peeled out right there at the end, we could have totally destroyed that. And that's what happens. I really need to get into some rally races right now, because apparently I'm really good at those. I've gotten a gold on almost every one of those. This is the best car in the entire game, I swear to God. This thing has like almost a thousand horsepower. I'm just throwing it out there. This thing is fast as shit. Even though it's probably the weirdest looking car in the game. Oh, God. Too much power. Too much manpower. Before I get distracted again. So... My dad decides to go up and ask me where the charger is, but because I'm so engulfed in this, I don't even know that he that he even came up here. No, we're not doing that again. And so, all, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he just appears in my room, and he's like, Hey Adam, where's the charger? And it just, it totally scared the shit out of me. I, I kid you not, I think that I almost jumped out of my own skin, all the while having pits flying all over the screen. Because it really, it caught, it caught me off guard. <laughs> And I just did like this reaction, if you could imagine it, just being like, Whoa! <laughs> And I look over and he's just standing right there and he's just trying not to bust up laughing at me like, what the fuck was that all about? And I was just like, I was like, Ugh. I was like don't do that, you scared me shitless. And I was just like, uh, he's like, he's like, so, uh, he's like, so what are you, what are you watching right now? And he's like, what, the, what was that all about? I was like, I'm watching Ghost Adventures. He's like, oh, okay, I read you. He's like, so where's the charger? I was like, well, it's it's in the backpack where the laptop was. He's like, I looked in there, I didn't see it. I was like, you didn't look in the two zip-up compartments there in the front? He's like, oh, well, I didn't even think about looking there. It's like, come on, Dad. You're killing me, Smalls. Even though I didn't actually say that, but I was thinking it in my brain. I should have said it. That would have been much better. Oh, my God, we're going to kill this one, too. <laughs> That's it. That settles it. That settles the whole thing. I swear to God, once we get ourselves a rally car, I'm going to go at it. When we get done with this, remind me, because, you know, you guys will actually be able to remind me of that. Remind me that I need to go look at rally cars. I need to see if they're expensive or exactly how I can... Ooh, an Alfa Romeo. Look at this thing go right now. This thing is hauling balls. Ooh. Holy shit, dude. This Alfa Romeo can really, uh, can really boil the termites right now. This thing is going. Yeah. Alright, I want to get my hands on one of those, too. Touring cars, huh? Alright. Is that what it was? Yeah, an Alpha 155 touring car. Holy shit. I think also classifies as a rally car. Yeah, I think that actually could be used as a rally car. Awesome. But yeah, so that was that. Was that. It was just so weird. I just didn't expect him to come, like, floating out of nowhere, because usually whenever anybody comes into my room because you have to walk through a bathroom to get to it, I just, you know, usually you can hear somebody, or like you can hear them, you know, open like the sliding, the sliding door thing to my room, but I just, I couldn't hear anything. And it's not like I was listening to it so loud that you just couldn't hear it, I just, it was, I don't know, it was, did not expect that at all. 
So I was just, I, I got done, you know, as soon as he went back downstairs, I was just like, fuck, man. Scared the balls right out of my balls, pretty much. What is, what, what is this one? I don't remember what this is. Oh, God, okay. Laguna Seca again, huh? With an even faster car, as if it wasn't hard enough the first time with the Viper. Okay, going down the hill. This is the hard part. Wow, okay, maybe it wasn't that hard at all. <laughs> See, I mean, your, your drivetrain is really what makes the big difference here. It really does. Ooh. Whenever you don't have to deal with, you know, rear-wheel drive, it's so much easier to control things. That's why it was so hard with the Dodge Viper, is just because it's rear-wheel drive. I mean, and especially they have, they have better tires for that, too. And for the last one, driving the old GT1. Oh, shit. Hold on a second. Hey, so I'm back again. I had to re go back and redo every single one of these because my emulator, again, for some reason, decided to stop working. I just, I have no luck right now. So, back to this. Back to the final test, and here we get to drive the old Toyota to get one. So here we go. Hopefully, it will work. Yeah, look at this thing. What the hell is that in the middle? Is that like a person? It kind of looks like a person. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I wanted to have happen. <laughs> Quick failure. The damn... The, the design on this car is so distracting. Like, it, that totally looks like a person in the middle of that. It's like one of those subliminal photos or something. And... Uh, okay. Wow, this thing is really hard to turn. Oh, he's gonna make it. Ooh, maybe not. I think the Kansas might lose that game. That'd be really funny if they did. Okay, here we go. This car has such bad handling. I'm just throwing that out there right now. Gosh. Ugh. No wonder why they would make this the last one. My good gravy. Just want to get it out of the way. I want to go. Want to go search for rally cars. I mean, that's that's obviously my calling in life, is to find a good rally car. Come on. Come on. Now oh, we got it. We got it. Maybe we don't got it. Okay, we got it. It's nice that these things can get up to 150 miles an hour in, like, no time flat. Okay. Well, just like that, we finally got this little guy. Dun-dun-dun! Now, the thing about this is that you thought we were done now, didn't you? Yes, you did, because I told you in the beginning episode that there were only five licenses to have now, didn't I? But I was lying to you because there is another license there is the super license but we will not be dealing with that for a while and it is hard as all hell they're actually all like full length well not not entirely but they're like you do like instead of like little tiny segments of things you're doing like almost full scale races for that license but we're not going to be dealing with that for a long time because we have a lot of racing to do before that point so really quick i want to see how much some of these like rally cars are before we call it done when we come back next time on Let's Play uh, Gran Turismo 2, we're going to be uh, starting up that the Muscle Car Cup. But I wanted to check a couple of these things out really quick here. Who the hell does Alfa Romeo? That's West City. I want to see how much their touring car is. Is that in here? A million dollars! Holy crap! <laughs> oh my god. That is so much money. Okay, how about, um... Let's see, I know Ford had one. What was theirs? 500,000? Okay, that's better, but jeez. That's 500k. Oh, wait a second. Holy crap, that's a really cool car. A Celine? No way! Oh, God, I love Celines. It looks exactly like a Mustang. It's because it is a Mustang, but it's a 641 horse sex Mustang is what that is. Okay, well, I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time, you know, getting caught up into that. So, when we come back next time, as I spoke to of already, we're going to be starting up this little thing right here. So I'm going to save before it gets out of control. So when we come back, that's what we're doing. Your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll see you next time. Bye.